Bruce Wayne, a guy who fights crime in the form of this character called Batman. Why Batman, when he was a kid, he went to the theater with his parents and they were robbed and both his parents were murdered in front of him. This traumatized the young Bruce so much that he dedicated himself to fighting crime. He used the inheritance he received from his parents to not only keep him rich, keep himself rich, but to educate himself on how to use technology to fight crime. And he used his fear for bats to instill fear into his enemies because he considered criminals his enemies. So, that's the background of this character, Batman. I remember when I went to the house of a childhood buddy of mine, he, the, child, the, say, the father of that childhood buddy, he was so into Batman. Their living room was decorated with stuff of Batman. I was thinking, whoa, this guy is fanatic. He was not a believer, by the way. So I began to think, what is it that attracts people to this character? When you look at this character, there are multiple comic books, multiple um, movies, even cartoons that came out concerning this character. It's an old character, so it shifts from time to time. The core remains the same. Bruce Wayne, who's a multi-millionaire, who's living like a playboy. He just wants to be left alone, enjoying mat uh, the materialistic lifestyle, which is capitalistic, but at the same time, he doesn't want crime around. Do you see the issue with this character? Why does he fight crime as he really is? The playboy, the multi-millionaire. Because people then would then point out to him and say, uh, Mr. Wayne, you say you want to fight crime, but this system we're operating in is criminal. And you're, you're benefiting from it, or else you wouldn't be this multimillionaire. You are living your life in luxury while all of us have to work hard every day. Yet you want to fight crime? So this Wayne, this Bruce Wayne knows that in his real form he could not fight crime because people would point him out they would challenge his uh, way of thinking so he goes by the identity of batman and he manages to hinder much crime and yes a helper that helps him because he can't do it all on his own he has this one big enemy that just won't let won't leave him alone that's the joker now, when you look further into this character, I already pointed out one error with this character. The fact that he benefits from a system that produces and enables crime, but at the same time he wants to fight crime. That's one thing. The second thing is, his mission to fight crime originated in trauma. And because it's originated in trauma, it's all about seek relief from the trauma so he did not process that his parents were taken away from him at a young age he is relieving himself from that trauma by fighting criminals but to the outside world it appears if he's doing the right thing he's protecting the city it's not about protecting the city if it was about protecting the city he would have forfeited that playboy lifestyle of his and invest all his wealth in reforming the system of the city so that everyone would benefit. So, there is a root here that's paranormal in this character. And he uses fear, because he's afraid of bats. And now he identifies with his fear, and is using this fear to, trend, to, let me say, to project that fear onto others. That's what narcissists do. Narcissists are frightened of the idea of being challenged mentally. So they project this fright onto others. And they use 
targets to put negative attention on so they can get supply from other people as the victim. That's exactly what Batman is doing. He's terrified of bats. So he uses this fear through projection on others to scare others. Um, hold on a minute. Doesn't it say somewhere in the New Testament that perfect love casts out fear? Doesn't it say that God has given us a spirit of fear? So now you have a character that uses fear as a method to fight evil. Well, fear itself is an evil thing. So that's another thing that doesn't add up with this character. But the main thing about this character that really should catch your attention, especially if you've been following my channel for a while, because I've been speaking about this way too often, but I need to speak about it. This Batman, or his real name, Bruce Wayne, never looks at the bigger picture. He doesn't want to see the bigger picture either, because then he needs to examine himself. I already pointed out three things that don't add up with this figure. But the main thing is, he doesn't want to see why all that crime exists to begin with. He is fighting symptoms. That's what he's doing. But he's not looking for a cure. First of all, he's a multimillionaire, so he's part of the system that that enables and produces crime. So how are you going to uproot it if you're a part if you are a part of it? How are you going to get rid of fear if you're operating in fear? Fear cannot cast out fear. Fear can only relocate fear, and that's what Batman is doing. And then you have this guy called the Joker. He comes by. And the Joker knows very well who Batman really is. And Joker points out the bigger picture to him. What the Joker is really telling Batman is, look, you're fighting all this injustice, but this injustice is just a symptom. You're not going to the root of it. Because the root of it is the mentality of the people you so-called are, pro are, are protecting. And you should know it very well because you don't even dare to show who you really are. Because you know that the moment you show who you really are, people come to treat you differently. The moment people know who you are, that you're really a multimillionaire, people go into demand things from you. Some may even rob you. Some may even think, who the heck does this Bruce Wayne think he is fighting crime? So the Joker is like a mirror showing Batman... I'm saying Bruce Wayne thinks he doesn't want to face about himself. Bruce Wayne or Batman does not want to face the bigger picture. Because he doesn't want to deal with the root. Because he is part of the root. Batman is a character that seeks relief on behalf of the community. That's why they love him. And at times they hate him also. Especially when he's a relief seeking justice. Brings collateral, collateral damage. There's always collateral damage when you're dealing with the paranormal. Because he's it's called the Dark Knight. He operates in the night. Because bats, those creatures, operate in the night also. So he's identifying and embracing darkness. And he's using darkness to fight darkness. That will never go well. Because when you identify with darkness, you become dark. When you identify with fear, you become fearful. You can't fight evil with evil without being affected and infected by the same evil you're fighting. That would be the same as using a disease to fight another disease. You remain trapped in a cycle of self-destruction. And eventually this cycle of self-destruction will affect your environment and more people will be sucked into it. So this Batman figure thinks he's doing the right thing, but he's deceived. Instead of seeking deliverance from violence, he's now operating in violence to hinder violence. And he has his quote-unquote reasons for being violent. But it's still violence. Look, this character Batman has been created by the Penguin rulers to show you how the world really is. 
but many of the fans of this character, they don't get it. They just bought the, let's say they just bought the comic books or they go to the movies in the cinemas. But they don't pay attention to what the movies are teaching them. The Joker, who's seen as the bad guy, is really showing that there are no good guys in this. The criminals are wrong, but Batman is wrong also. And the Joker is wrong anyway. He admits he's wrong, but he also points out that it's not just him. The Joker points out that the community itself is at fault for complying with injustice. And that as long as the community does not change collectively, the same issues will manifest. And Batman only has his position as a hero because he relieves the population. Because the population doesn't want to face itself. The population doesn't want to change. People don't want, people just want to be left alone. But their collective, I'm saying their collective in, iniquities cause harm and harm affects them but then you have this guy called batman they don't know who he is that comes by and saves the day relieves them from the consequences of their negative wills that's why he's a hero because he relieves them batman is really narcissistic supply for the people of gotham city because he relieves them from having to face themselves and the joker points this out so Batman is really being used by the community of Gotham City. But he doesn't want to see this. Instead, he's so focused on fighting criminals and especially the Joker. Why especially the Joker? Because the Joker shows the truth. Even though he's an evil being himself, he shows the truth. Because Batman himself also seeks relief that means acknowledgement from the people. But he can't seek this acknowledgement as he really is, Bruce Wayne. So he does it in a fearful manner. He is wearing a mask of fear to get relief from other people. Do you see it now? What the, what the character Batman reveals onto you is that Satan will use traumatized people people who haven't processed the past. He will raise them up, not all of them, of course, but he will pick out here and there people that have been traumatized, who haven't processed it, who are still stuck. Satan will use some of those people. He'll, he will, quote-unquote, bless them, or better said, trap them with financial resources to enable them to relieve themselves by fighting bad people. And because those people that are traumatized are fighting bad people, they get a sense of euphoria that they're doing the right thing. They become addicted to this euphoria that their brain produces. And Satan will now use those same people who are convinced of doing the right thing to kill, steal, and destroy. Because the quote-unquote good thing they're doing only brings short-term relief. But in the long term, it doesn't solve anything. This Batman is a paranormal creature. That's really what he is. Yet folks perceive him as some kind of hero. That also shows you how worldly people are. <laughs> when you relieve them from having to be from having to face themselves, you are the hero. You are their best friend. They will sing praise and hymns for you. The moment you tell them to examine themselves for the good, you don't tell them to examine themselves to be mean. You tell them to examine themselves for their own good. But the moment you say that, it doesn't matter how loving you do it. You become their enemy. They cut you off. They don't want to deal with you anymore. Or they'll begin to attack you. Because they can't let it go. That you told them to, to examine themselves. Some will even come after you to kill you. To take away your life. Because they can't handle it. You challenge them. Look. Someone asked me to do this video about Batman. I think already mentioned Batman before. But you know what? I did this video to explain you what this character reveals. What about you? Are you into this relief seeking justice thing, which isn't justice at all? Or are you operating in the righteousness, which comes from Christ? Be at peace.